Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Jay Smith Plays MS Paint. I am Jay Smith and I am on the internet. Thank you very much for joining with me again as I continue along the uh, the rainforest of happiness, sunshine, and art. Uh, today we are going to be looking at a video game that is really, uh, it's, it's, it's one of my favorite games of all time. One of the, what I consider one of the best first person shooters, um, just because, uh, just about everything in it is just awesome. I loved it. It did a whole lot for the genre, pushed it in new directions, and uh, I'm sure that some people will probably be like, oh, Josh, you're an idiot. Um, but regardless, without further ado, I am going to be drawing Mr. Gordon Freeman and uh, Ms. Alex Vance uh, from, obviously, Half-Life 2. Thank you very much for joining again. Uh, I put 15 minutes on the clock. This should be a pretty interesting drawing. Um, we'll see how I do. Uh, three, two, one. Go. The good thing about these these two individuals that I noticed right off the bat. Well, the first thing I noticed is the just plain uh, white background. There is some weird, weird little shadows back here. I'm not exactly sure what, what it was. I thought this was like a shadow of a human, but it could be like a tree or anything. Um, but I was like, wow, that, what if that's like the G-Man or something? But that's like the one thing I really enjoy about the uh, the Half Life, uh, just Half Life as a whole is how dedicated like the fans are to finding out new and weird and strange uh, information about uh, the subject matter. I'm just trying to find the, uh, the right shade of white here. Um, it might be this. I think I'm alright with that. I'm cool with, with that. So we'll make this his head and we'll come down here and do his hair and Alex will be kind of over there. Uh, maybe one thing I'm gonna do is just kind of move it over um, right to there, and so he has room for his shorter pads, and Alex will be on the left-hand side around there, but I think that's pretty good. Um, maybe I can take a little bit of, out of the jawline. His jaw's not that thick. Kind of comes down like that, and down and around like that. I don't know if I changed it too much there, but, uh, you know, whatever. That's what I get. Fill this in with white. Um, the reason, I suppose, I could talk a little bit about the, the game itself. I really just, every time that I go back and play it, I've probably played through the game three, four times. Uh, it's just fun. I have a whole lot of you know fun with it. Uh, the, the main complaint that I probably have and that most people have right now is that the, uh, the, um, the vehicle segments aren't as refined as you know maybe uh, they could be now. Um, but, you know, given the technology that they had back then, back when it was created, I think it serves it a pretty good purpose. It's a little bit long, a little bit overdone, but um, for its time, I thought it was just fantastic. Uh, now we are going to build up from his shoulder here. So coming down and over and back down again. That'll be good. And similar over to this part as well, the kind of seems to come out a little bit farther. So that is going to be Mr. Freeman, and over here is going to be his other shorter part right here. Um, Alex Vance is going to be maybe a little bit off screen because I made it a little bit too big. But let's get her jacket right here started right like that. Um, kind of come down and around. And up to over here and over like that. All right, I think that'll be enough room to have her head uh, kind of right here, if I can get that. Um, down right there, and up, and around. Yeah, I think that'll work just fine for me, actually. And we'll have it just kind of come down like that. Uh, that should be good. That should be all right. Um, we'll have her sort of hood right there. Her neck looks awful big, but I can kind of do some things to adjust for it, I hope. Like that. She looks a little bit bigger than how she should. Maybe I'll do some adjustments to her shoulder like that. And kind of come down. Uh, maybe not. That could be fine. If it kind of comes down and over like that, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. And... I think the more I kind of put that down, I don't know. But I just don't want to make her too big, you know? She kind of looks pretty hefty. If I make their shoulders out like that, maybe that'll help instead of her slouching down. There we go. 
So that looks a little bit better. Especially compared to Gordon Freeman over here, who looks like he's inside of, like, a human tank. Inside of a human tank. He actually is inside of a tank that is also a human. That doesn't make any sense. Um, so let's get this deep kind of red over here for his suit. Um, that'll kind of come down like that. And up and around here. This will be his neck. And just like that will be fine, I think. And the rest of this stuff will be his neck. There we go. Uh, that kind of went. <laughs> I, I like when I, I, I click and drag a little bit farther out. Some people have been asking if I'm using like a tablet, uh, like a a thing for drawing. That's I'm, I'm not doing that at all. I just spit out the camera. I hope you didn't see that. Um, but I told you about it anyway, so I guess just I'm an idiot. Um, let's get his neck going on right here. With all of this kind of weird stuff. I guess I could have made like the neck first, but I didn't want to. So we'll have that kind of come up like that. And down around like that. Alright, so we're only... We still got, we only got nine minutes left, so I gotta make this count. But it should be pretty good. A lot of this is gonna be in the details uh, afterwards, so uh, I hope it, I hope it'll be alright. So there's that. And we'll have his head and cheek kind of coming out above everything, because that's how science works. Um, fill the rest of this in with the, the gray, and we'll come down. I do want to make sure that I'm not messing with the Half-Life logo or anything. Uh, if I do that, that'll be better. Good. So that is his first tier of armor. And it even kind of comes down and over here too. I'll probably finish this with like a, a darker color actually uh, for this part. Just like that. Alright, and for this side. Uh, something a little bit similar. We want the outline of the red until it gets to the middle. We'll drag that down and out. And so this part right here is just going to be the, uh, the orange uh, logo. And I forget the, uh, the, the sign. It's not like Omega. Shit, what is that? The, uh, the Delta? No. I don't know. Why can't I remember what the Half-Life thing is. Oh well. Uh, regardless, uh, I do just kind of want to make his armor just like that. Awesome. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, we'll get his shoulder in. I like how his shoulder is just kind of like covered in like this wool uh, mesh right here. I think that's pretty neat. And last but not least, we'll just kind of make that over and his other piece of armor kind of coming down just like that nice um, now we need the orange so we'll get this color right here and we'll rust it up just a bit we'll bring it lighter make it a little bit more gray uh, and I think that will fit into this kind of color scheme really well I like the palette that I'm, I'm using in this uh, it's really light colors it's kind of like they're they're faded um, but in a really, really neat way. Okay, so there's that. And, alright, we need a little bit of a brighter. And probably a little bit more yellow. And let's get this thing in here. We'll circle it. You kind of bring it down like that. And over. And it'll be a little bit off camera, and that's fine. Uh, I, I didn't do it as best as I could, but... Still did it. Just like that. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. Um, now, for his, his face and everything, let's get his brown hair. Kind of coming down this. Just like Dr. House. It's funny, I, he looks so much like Hugh Laurie, it's ridiculous. Uh, we'll bring this down over here. And, like, I wonder if they actually, like, modeled him at all, or if it's just, like, a really weird coincidence that he just happens to look like Dr. House. Uh, and, or maybe Dr. House looks like Gordon Freeman. Ooh, that could be something. 
Um, down over like this. I don't want any bald spots. That would be terrible. But we'll do that. And we'll get the uh, the glasses in as well. Kind of coming down. Uh, coming down like that. There we go. And around. He's got big frames. Uh, and kind of coming out like that. Cool. We'll have these go like that and up and over. I don't think that's how they look, but that's how Quentin Freeman is going to look. Oh, God, that looks so awful. I can't, I can't live with myself that I did that. Um, so we'll do just a bit and kind of come down and around. Okay, so like that. Glasses are like my worst nightmare. You know, I wear them, but I can't draw them. I don't wear them very often. Uh, there is a time that I wore them on the NLSS for a long time, but that was only because I was waiting for new ones to come in. But that looks, I think that'll be fine. Um, his mustache and everything, his goatee down here. He looks like, ugh, doesn't look very good. He looks chubby, he looks too chubby. But that's the best I could do right now with the uh, the time that I allow myself to to do these things in. So we'll get this right there. Okay. Now for you, Ms. Vance. Let's get you all colored in and filled out in four minutes. Let's see if I can do it. I think I should be able to. It shouldn't be too difficult. Let me get a darker color for your neck. Just like that. Okay, great. Uh, and go back to this. Fill you in. I always thought Alex Vance was a pretty good sidekick. You know, she never got in the way. She was helpful, beneficial uh, throughout the entire of the game. Um, just all around a good supporting character. Her emotions that she has uh, throughout just the first game and the... Uh, the extra, the the episode one and two, because there's no episode, you know, three ever. I, I don't know why. I kind of wish there was. I think everyone wishes there was, but it just doesn't happen. Just doesn't happen. Valve is scared of counting to three, evidently. So we'll bring. Oh, this is this is weird because her hair kind of goes back, but my mouth's uh, doesn't. So we'll just have this kind of come down, just like that. And that is a weird looking Alex Vance. Uh, Gordon Freeman doesn't have eyes. I'm well aware of that. Uh, let me get some sort of brown in here. My fingers aren't working really well, so let's get her eyes like that. And we'll just give her some little... Oh, God, what am I doing? Um, she's got, like, some weird green eyes, but we'll just make them purple for this because that color was in the color scheme. Um, so there's one, and then there's two. Uh, we'll do her lips as this this pink color. And so that's her. If I had more time, I could. I think I can make this a pretty uh, good drawing of these two. But um, because I only allowed myself the 15 minutes, this is kind of what we're seeing here. Uh, her nose kind of coming down like that. There we go. We'll give her some eye things there we are give her a little bit more definition uh, we'll give her an ear as well I think everyone can kind of use a little bit of an ear Morgan Freeman can even have an ear as well Gordon Freeman not Morgan Freeman have I been saying Morgan Freeman this whole time I don't know um, but obviously I meant Gordon uh, how about some eyes for Gordon here so we'll just fill like that in right there and we'll do some white as well. Because he's been up for quite a while. You know, he, he's probably pretty tired. Uh, he's got green eyes. So we'll fill that in. Just like that. And maybe not like that. That's too googly-eyed. That's one. And that's two. Now, I guess Alex has similar color eyes. So I, I'll go over her purple with green although she still looks really weird but you know maybe that's the that's the new rage that's the new thing for for Alex Vance and, and ladies in general just to have 
big green beautiful eyes there we go there's that all right um he needs lips so we'll just give him uh some sort of darker color just like that and he's not a happy man i would say you know he's the savior of the world multiple times but probably not too happy he's got these cheekbones kind of like that and over there as well and we'll have his kind of neck go down to that add some lines to their faces Alex Vance looks really kind of confused over here which she should she's she's in a, a really weird spot but that's that's all we can kind of do with her um, we'll give her some sort of fur for her jacket and that is pretty much gonna take us to the end of time or our time not to the end of time time but I think that looks pretty good for for 15 minutes and then trying to recreate this this piece of work um, you know Gordon looks a little bit fatter than he, he typically does his his glasses are so awful I love it um, but regardless you know that's what we did that's how we that's how we roll so thank you all very much for joining with me today I really appreciate it uh, make sure you check out the channel every day for new videos new updates every single day I am Jay Smith and I am on the internet thank you very much again for joining with me and we'll see you next time later